This is how I created an AI that can hack any game. It takes a screenshot of your game, then it hacks the values on screen. All without you even lifting a finger. And it works on almost any game. And I will show you how I did it. To understand how this AI works, we will need to know how to hack a game without it. I want to hack my sun points here, which I can buy towers for. We will open Sheet Engine and search for the value we want to hack. So I search for 25, then I go in game and change the value. Now it's 50. We search for 50, and now we only have one address left. We can now change this to millions and billions, whatever, and we can buy any tower we want. So that's how we hack. A game normally. Fairly easy, right? But not for a computer. So we will need to transfer these steps into writable code. Now because we have modern AIs that can use image processing, we will take a screenshot of the game and store it in a base64 encoded file. Now when we have our screenshot, we will need to extract useful information. We have some valuable information in this picture, like our sons, which we can buy towers from. We have our towers, they are now. placed on the grid. We have our sons that we can pick up to buy more stuff. But we also have enemies, yeah. or the zombies, which are trying to hurt us, they are trying to eat our brains. So, we will base our prompt on these factors, but keep them generalized to the point that it can be used in other games. So we will use a primary stat for the current round. Now that we have the information extracted, we can search for our value. So just like in Sheet Engine, we made a first scan or a, an initial scan. We will search for the values for Python instead. So we will perform a scan based on the stat, the primary stat, and then change the value, make a rescan. So we will aim to reduce the amount of addresses so we can just write over them. Like here, we have one address. But we needed to change our value to make this scan. So we will have to create a script that does something to the game, like picking up the suns or shooting our gun in, a, in an FPS game to change the value so we can make the rescan and filter out the addresses that didn't follow our logic. So, it will generate the auto hotkey script based on the commands sent by our AI, and then it will run it. We also want a graphical user interface so we understand what's going on. So, we will use a log window with the CTK library that all of you guys loved, we will have some text depending on the actions of the AI. So we have information, warnings, successes, and so on. And it will print out these in a terminal-like window. And finally, we tie it all together in the main automation loop. Let's run it and test it out on our Plants vs Zombies game. So when we run our beautiful AI, we can see that we get the terminal window. If we click our hotkey or tap it, we can see that the game freezes and it will check for stats, then perform an action like picking up the sun. And afterwards, it will hack the game's memory. 999 million points. But it goes down to a thousand because that's the cap. So it successfully hacked Plants vs. Zombies without us doing anything. We can test this out on another game, like Pego, another goaded game. So, if we press our hotkey, it will screenshot the game, look for an action, like shooting the ball. We can see that we now have like a bazillion in ammo, it doesn't even fit on the screen, and we can use how many balls we want. Amazing. We can also try it on a game like 
hill climb racing a third goaded game so if we just drive in game we look for some coins then press our hotkey before we reach the coins let him do his thing and we have a hundred million points Yahoo! amazing let's buy some stuff so we can use our newfound fortune At this point we don't even need the moon level, we can just use this tool again, but whatever, I want to use it. I don't even remember this car from the game earlier, but yeah whatever. Okay, so I didn't get that far, but we can also try it on an FPS game, like Postal 2. So here I have my weapon, rifle and so on, I have 205 ammo, let's hit our hotkey. Waits a bit, then it fires a shot. And now we have unlimited ammo. So we can shoot forever, we can do whatever we want with this. Pretty neat, not even selecting the ammo and it's still back again. Now the interesting part is that this is just a basic model. It takes the ammo or some money, but we can continue and develop this to something that finds functions, instructions, maybe entity lists and so on by using AI, so we use qualitative methods to produce our offsets or even hacks in there, in the end. So you're only limited to your imagination with this. We are probably going to see AI aimbots produced by similar methods, AI wall hacks and so if you want me to do any other video suggestions, maybe going a bit more detail on videos, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have any other suggestion, can be whatever, make sure you write it down. You know, you can like the video, it doesn't cost anything. You can subscribe if you like this sort of content. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye fellas.